Actually, John Herod. I'm the president of U.S. Freedom Biofuels. We are the manufacturer of biodiesel production equipment for the commercial end user. Well, we were pretty excited last summer when we kicked this off. We started in May, and we were averaging about seven machines being sold per month, May, June, July, August, and into September. And then as fuel prices started dropping, so did the uh, number of machines being sold. But we have the capability right now in this facility to build as many as seven machines per week without even breaking a sweat. Uh, when things were really cranking, we had a couple of employees. Things were moving along. We had, uh, we had a pretty good vision. We really thought we were going to be doing upwards of 100 machines per month and uh, expanding rapidly. But it didn't happen the way we thought it would. Not that the uh, opportunity isn't still there. Our timing was a little off. I think our timing is going to be uh, well in place. Two things have happened. Number one, uh, with this drop in fuel prices, a lot of our competitors have gone out of business. They couldn't survive. We've been very fortunate. We did everything with, uh, with some private investment money locally. We've got a uh, gentleman here locally that's really helped us out. His name is George Vandrasic. He's uh, invested in our company, and uh, we've put our own money into it. So we, we've really run this on a very lean and mean type operation. We haven't gone to any grant money. We haven't gone outside for any money other than this private money, either our own or uh, George's money. So uh, George is getting a good return on his investment, and uh, he looks forward to that. A check every, every week coming or every month coming back. But we'd like to see this company really grow to what it can be and what it should be. And uh, that means capitalization. That means maybe somebody else coming along and taking it to the next level. And we're okay with that. And that's, uh, that's really the, where we'd like to see it go because we know with 20 million gallons of fuel available through restaurants right now in the state of Wisconsin, what that can do for the end user, whether it be a construction company or a landscape company or just somebody who's got maybe a, a diesel pickup truck and a fifth wheel that they haven't been able to use as much as they want to because the fuel prices have been so high. If they can start using their own processor to make their own fuel, yes, you've got to pay the 20.9 cents a gallon to the state of Wisconsin, but that's a small price to pay when your total cost of making the fuel, if you're getting the grease for free, it's going to be about 55 cents a gallon. And you can check out more facts about that on our website, usfreedombiofuels.com. But the, uh, the second piece of, of that is that you've got self-reliance, and that's such an important part of this. When we are faced with the eco ec economic times that we are today, being self-reliant, growing a garden, making sure you've got cash on hand in reserve, making sure that you can, you can weather the tough times, but being able to make your own fuel that can heat your house, that can run a diesel generator, that can literally take you off the grid. And I'm not trying to scare anybody, but hey, things are different today than they were five years ago. They're different than they were 10 years ago. If somebody would have said, we're gonna be facing what we're facing today, even a year ago, I would have doubted them. But I can see where things are going, and we're in for a real tough storm.